Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about the topic of letting someone know when you've zoned out in a conversation and you missed something that the other person has said. I first started thinking about this when my friend Sylvia did this with me. Like, I was talking to her about something, and at a certain point she was just like, Oh, I'm sorry, I zoned out and I missed what you said. And I was a little surprised the first time she did this, because I don't have people do that kind of thing with me all that often. People don't very often let me know when they've zoned out. But, if I think about myself, I realize that I actually zone out quite a lot when I'm just going through my daily life, and sometimes I miss things that other people have said. And I think it's pretty normal. I get the sense that a lot of people zone out a lot of the time, and that people generally don't catch everything that everyone else says to them. I also have noticed that there are times in my life when I've had sort of serious problems or miscommunications or like conflict arise because I thought that someone else sort of got a message that I tried to communicate when they don't didn't actually get that message. Like sometimes I'm like, "Oh, but I told you this, and the person's like, I don't remember you ever saying that. And I've been on the other side of that, too. And sometimes that can cause problems. So I think that, in general, letting someone know when you've zoned out and missed something that they've said is actually a very practical and useful thing, because it gives the other person the opportunity to repeat what they've said if it's important, or to just move on if it's not very important. And I think that that's a very respectful thing to do. Now, I was talking to my friend Sylvia about this, and I was like, wouldn't it be awesome if people did this sort of thing more often? And she's like, well, yeah, but I wouldn't be necessarily comfortable doing that with just anybody. And I started thinking about it, and I realized that I wouldn't necessarily be comfortable either. And I started thinking about our culture and our social norms, and I think that there's a degree to which some people might perceive that sort of thing as rude if I admit that I zoned out and didn't pay attention to the last thing that they said. And I started thinking about it, and I'm like, I don't want other people to perceive it as rude if they do that to me, because I want people to let me know. And I think there's a degree to which what we define as rude or polite is arbitrary. It's part of our culture, and it's something that we can choose to change, we can choose to redefine. And I don't know about you, but I would really like to redefine this sort of thing, to be considered respectful, because I see it as respectful when other people let me know that they missed what I said. It gives the, me the opportunity to avoid miscommunication and to communicate important things, and I think that that's a really valuable thing. So, I hope that I've challenged some ideas, I hope that I've introduced you to this idea of letting people know when you zone out. And I hope that you can find some circumstances in your life where you feel confident doing it, and I hope, also hope that we can together contribute to challenging our culture and to redefining that sort of behavior as a courteous, polite, and respectful thing, rather than something that is perceived as like rude or abrasive. And I hope this can have a positive effect on our culture by reducing miscommunication and ensuring that people communicate things that are really important for them to communicate. So, thank you!